Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to another video. Uh, so this is a how-to video on how to uh, remove the hotkeys for uh, Windows keyboard layout changes. So this little icon down here, it allows you to change uh, between the different uh, keyboard layouts installed, which is quite handy when you want to change between different languages. And at some point in time, uh, Windows Engineering decided that uh, you should be able to do it on the fly. So you're writing a document in Portuguese, you hit the hotkey, and then suddenly you are in English and you uh, write a sentence in English, and then you hit the hotkey again, and you're back where you are. I guess to save you clicking around the menus, looking for where uh, to change the thing until they decided to just include the icon in the taskbar and made that the default. Anyways, through this process, they added not just one, but two hotkeys uh, to uh, change this. Uh, the first one is Alt-Shift. This is the old way to uh, change that. If you hit it, you see the icon changing uh, down there. And then eventually, I think it was in Windows 11, uh, they added also uh, Windows Space, because uh, clearly you need another way to uh, change that. And not only did they have these two hotkeys, the way to disable them is different. So I'm going to teach you the, the original one from the original setting of the Alt Shift. So uh, if you click here and go to more keyboard settings, uh, you go to typing and advanced keyboard settings on the input language hotkeys. You have this text services and input languages module or whatever you call it. And you can edit this uh, key thing to be not assigned. And you click OK, you click apply. And now if you hit uh, Alt Shift, you notice that nothing happens on the bottom anymore. Awesome, we got rid of one, but the alt space still uh, changes stuff. So how do we get rid of uh, that one? That one actually, I think it's either a registry entry that you need to do, or you can install uh, Power Toys. So uh, Power Toys was this um, application developed officially by Microsoft, but not originally included in Windows. So you have to download it and it's still under development. You need to download it and install it, and then you'll have a little icon uh, like this, which is the Power Toys uh, dashboard, which looks pretty much like uh, the normal Windows menus thing, but it has a bunch of extra functionality uh, to uh, to Windows. So if you go under Input Output on Keyboard Manager, you can remap a shortcut, which doesn't link you anything by default. And if you type here the Windows key, and uh, space and you select here to disable it and save uh, now you have that mapping saying that it's disabled for all applications so now if i type windows space oh it doesn't change anymore so yeah we finally have both of the hotkeys uh, disabled. Shame that you need to install Power Toys to have this thing. I, I believe there is a registry hack that you can do to permanently uh, disable it, but I couldn't really find it. And it's uh, less dangerous to uh, do it via Power Toys. And also it's a pretty good uh, customizing tool uh, for you to have uh, Power Toys uh, settings, it allows you to customize a bunch of other stuff. So yeah, hope you found it useful. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope it was useful for you. It will definitely be useful for me in the future when I'm trying to stress uh, how the hell to disable this again. Uh, so yeah, see you next video. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a great day.